Ever since the Second Vatican Council, the Catholic Church has invited lay men and women to be involved in liturgical ministries. And one of those ministries is that of a lector or reader. It's essential to be well prepared when reading God's Word. And in fact, in any denomination, public speaking or the proclamation of the Word is essential. And so I offer to you a few reading tips from one of our parishioners so that your proclamation of the Word or your communication of a message is clear and efficient. No matter what your faith or denomination, there's two things you can do to be a more powerful reader or lector. First is longer pauses. Second is speaking with authority. I'm going to have Peter read the way many of us do the first time we get a chance to do a reading, whether it's in Bible class, in a Mass or service, or even with friends. And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. And God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. That's pretty good. It's not how many of us do it the first time, but it's a little bit rushed. And when we rush, we make people feel rushed. We're not letting the power of it really sit. You never understand people's words in the moment. It takes a second and a half to clear the brain to register. So longer pauses between sentences. You can even help to count 1,001 in between sentences and really not rush. And you can really let it more powerfully. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and God called the gathered waters seas. And God saw that it was good. See, much more powerful, just these longer pauses really lets it sink in for everybody. So the first tip, longer pauses, don't rush the reading. The second tip is speak with authority. We're just the messenger. The message is so powerful and so strong, sometimes we damp it down. We're like a Ferrari, but with a handbrake on when we read. We want to really let it come through powerfully. So one way to through powerfully is even as you're going up to read, let yourself pray. Open me, Lord. Let me be the vessel. Let me be the instrument. And give yourself permission to be awesome. Give yourself permission to let the words really come through and exaggerate it a little bit because that's the gift that you're giving of the word. So here's how it's read without authority. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who knows what is done in secret, will reward you. So that's what many of us do, nothing wrong with that. But now, when you add to authority, small movements, small gestures, but key to the word. So when you say the word slow, you say it slow. When you say strong, you say strong. And you're letting that word really pop and the meaning comes through more powerfully for everybody that's listening. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Good luck with your own readings.